electric field due to a system of charges. Consider a system of point charges Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, etc. in free space. Due to these charges, electric field at point P need to be calculated. At point P, a unit positive charge is imagined to be kept. Q1 is at a distance R1 from P. Q2 is at a distance R2 from P. Q3 is at a distance R3. Q4 at R4. Q5 at R5 from point P. According to Coulomb's law, the unit positive charge at P experiences electric force due to these individual charges. Due to Q1, let E1 be the electric force experienced by this unit positive charge in this direction. So E1 equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 into 1 divided by R1 square modulus into unit vector R1. Similarly, this Q2 charge exert a force E2 at P and E2 equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 into 1 by modulus R2 square into unit vector R2. Similarly, E3 is the force experienced by unit positive charge due to plus Q3. So E3 equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q3 into 1 divided by R3 square plus etc. And nth charge also exert the force E n equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q n into 1 divided by R n square into unit vector R n. So resultant of all these electric forces is represented as vector E. So the unit positive charge will experience a resultant force in this direction. And that vector E is the vector sum of all these individual forces E1, E2, E3, etc. Let us write the magnitude or even vector itself. Capital E equal to vector E1 plus vector E2 plus vector E3, etc. So vector E1, this is the magnitude. In terms of vector, if you represent 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 by R1 square into unit vector R1 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 by R2 square into unit vector R2 plus etc. Or Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into unit vector R1 by R1 square modulus plus Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught unit vector R2 by R2 square modulus plus Q3 by 4 pi epsilon naught unit vector R3 by R3 square modulus plus etc. Or 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is common here. Take it out. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 into unit vector R1 by R1 square plus Q2 unit vector R2 by R2 square modulus plus Q3 unit vector R3 by R3 square plus etc. So generalizing we can write E equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught summation of QI divided by Ri square into unit vector Ri where I can have value starting from 1 to n. So this is the net electric field intensity at point P due to the system of n point charges in vacuum medium. Thank you.